Uh, fantastic. You are still watching Entrepreneurship Tuesday on Why in the Morning. Remember, we are all about bringing you young and influential people who have something for themselves that can make you learn something from it that can help you earn money back at home. And remember, the conversation is still on our social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter is Y254 channel. Like I always say on Instagram, there's an underscore. And you can still continue to also interact with me at Brian Sakwa 101. And now we are proceeding with our segment today. We also on this other part of the show, we are being joined live in studio by a very young and powerful gentleman who is going to take us through the triumphs of actually starting a business online. He is a chemist by profession, but he also ventured into another business to actually supplement his main source of income. Joining me live in studio is Benson Macau. Good morning. Thank you for coming through, man. Okay, good morning. See you, Brian. Uh -huh. Thanks Welcome. for having me. Welcome to the show. Yeah, uh, you me. mentioned you are, you are a chemist by profession yeah. that means you work you work as a lab technician yeah, as a lab but technician. Uh, your main hustle is uh, is it the main hustle or both of them are main both of them uh -huh. I can say they are main for now uh -huh. yeah okay yeah so when did you decide that you know you want to move from being a chemist by profession mm -hmm. and then now wanting to start to sell because I've seen you sell shoes online and you also own a company called uh, flick mode collections yeah so I started Flick Mold um, three years ago, yeah? okay. while I was still practicing my professional career as a chemist. Yeah? So it, it started in a funny way. Yeah? I have passion in shoes. Uh -huh. So I would see good shoes, screenshot, and uh -huh. post on my post WhatsApp, on social my, my social media, okay. mainly on my WhatsApp statuses. Uh -huh. Then people would ask. Yeah? Uh -huh. Where can I get these? Such, can shoes, I get uh -huh. there? Such shoes. Eh? Okay. Then my thought came. Eh? Uh -huh. Why can't I try this as a business? Okay. Yeah. Then I started. I started doing my searching for people who can help me okay. to venture in the business. All right. Yeah. So I'd seen one of my friends who is called Frank. Okay. Was already selling. Actually, most of my my photos I was getting from him. Oh, he's a photographer. No, he's doing oh. online business. Oh, eh? online business. Shoes yeah. too. So you're actually sharing the, the insights together. Yeah, so okay. the idea I got from Frank. Uh -huh. So Frank introduced me to the business. Okay. Then I started posting consistently uh -huh. until I started earning from it. Uh -huh. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, in, in this generation, everybody is all about social media. Exactly. And the interesting yeah. thing is mm. you started doing it with your mobile phone. Yeah. You never, like, went to a physical shop, established yeah. it somewhere, and then yeah. you started having your stock. Yeah. But how did that happen? Because for somebody watching back at home, they'll be like, really? How can somebody just wake up and start <laughs> posting and then all of a sudden yeah. they're going viral? Yeah. It must have been something that, you know, created a lot of attention for you. Yeah. As I have said, consistency is everything. Okay. So at first, I not, I, I never used to get clients, but I never gave up. Eh? I used uh -huh. to post, to post, to post. Mm -hmm. Until I started getting clients asking okay. for the shoes. Yeah. Uh -huh. So with time, that that was through my WhatsApp status. Though with time, I opened my IG. Okay. Then IG, I converted to a business account. Uh -huh. Then I started posting there. Okay. Then after IG, I went also to Facebook and opened my page uh -huh. where I posted and started boosting. Okay. Yeah, so when you boost... You boosted with... Uh, that means you have to go through a bank account, have yeah, some yeah, you connect, you connect your uh -huh. page with a bank account, with the bank then account you boost. Uh -huh. Then through boost, boosting, the social media like Facebook page. and Instagram, uh -huh. yeah, you mm -hmm. boost your page. It will help you to get... To reach more Follows, clients, yeah. um, a certain specific audience. Yeah, yeah. So they direct text you to your WhatsApp, uh -huh. and then through that you get to get more contacts on more your contacts, WhatsApp. Yeah. You save. You also mm -hmm. tell them to save, and through that you you end up getting more clients. So that's how it started. Interesting, because yeah. you know it's. It rarely do you get, you know, somebody mm. who has been working for so long without, you know, having results. Like, you, like you say, a person then went up boost page. Yeah, I exactly. think they've already gotten the hack. Now, uh, you mentioned your company <laughs> is three years old now, yeah. or you've been doing it for three years. Yeah, for when, three years. When officially did you start? I started officially in 20, 2020, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. That is just... That's where I started running, running, yeah, uh -huh. during the pandemic, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. 
Mm. How did it go? Because I, I remember on the COVID <coughs> pandemic track, so many things were at a standstill. Yeah. You know, people are trying to figure out what can I what can I do as compared to like even you know going to meet people physically because now people are back at home. Yeah. There's nobody coming to the market physically. But for you, I love the fact that you went on social media. Do you mm. feel like that even get, uh, uh, I'll say that fortified your business and gave you that standing on the market? Yeah, I'd say it. It really helped me. Most people was, were at home yeah, that uh -huh. time during the pandemic, yeah? uh -huh. so most people were on social media. Okay. So I really took that chance to boost my pages. Eh? Uh -huh. And through that, many people were texting, well, how can I get this? I saw this on Facebook. How can I get it? Uh -huh. yeah, but, most of the, but we had one challenge, yeah? uh -huh. because we have the local suppliers who supply us with their shoes. Eh? Okay. Most of the items were not coming because like most of because the items stock had were not been held coming, yeah, 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 due yeah. to COVID. Yeah, there was so, no imports rather coming Yeah, through. so getting uh, the shoes, the stock, uh, it yeah. was a problem. Okay. But with that, you can explain to them, eh, after mm -hmm. the pandemic, things will be well. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, did it pick up well after the pandemic? You yeah, would say really right now you are getting the clients, uh, even physically? Yeah, exactly, even uh -huh. physically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're making profit, some good amount of money in there? Yes or yeah. no? <laughs> yes, I'm making, and that's why I'm here. Yeah, to true, talk, true, true, true. talk maybe to someone. Eh? Mm -hmm. Who is Tell you? them, tell them. Yeah, okay. Yes. Any camera? Or yeah, just, eh? straight. That's your camera right there. Okay, so I'm here to talk to someone who is in the house. Eh? Uh -huh. we, we have a challenge of unemployment in our country, eh? but we so. still got our phones. Yeah. And laptops. I believe most of the youth got phones and laptops. Mm -hmm. So it's always a good eh, to come up with ideas where you can get something, something to help you in terms of money, employment, and with that you you get to think outside the box. Eh? Yeah, yeah, which ends up helping you a lot. True, yeah. I agree with you on that one. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go back to your original profession. Mm -hmm. You studied. Uh, uh, you are a chemist by profession. Yeah, I'm so a you, chemist that means by you profession. studied bio. Did you study uh, industrial chemistry industrial or something chemist, closer yeah. to that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, how, how can a lab technician mm -hmm. transition to now coming back to selling shoes online? A lot of people will be like, hey, Buana, so so we need a doctor, we need a chemist, we need a doctor, we need a doctor, we need a doctor, we need a doctor, we need a How was that reception for people? Did okay. they receive you as a chemist or a physicist? or uh, a shoe seller, because these are two different fields and interacting them at the same time is not easy, I believe. Yeah, you know, with people at first, they will wonder, yeah? but when the money starts coming, yeah, uh -huh. they, they usually uh, start appreciating you. Okay. So at first, people were wondering, Benson is posting shoes, eh? uh -huh. and other pictures is posting himself in the lab, eh? doing uh -huh. analysis. Doing analysis. So they were kind of confused. You said you're doing industrial, a quality something control? Yeah, quality assurance. Quality yeah. assurance. Yeah, in the, I'm in the pharmaceutical industry. In pharmaceutical industry, huh? Yeah, manufacturing human medicine and human animal. Medicine yeah. and animal yeah. husbandry. <laughs> <laughs> There's always been that animal husbandry. <laughs> so when you said it, agriculture, medicine, uh, Yeah, so an, import, animal yeah. medicine, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Interesting, because the mm. two actually are not coherent. Yeah, exactly. uh, Lau, let's come back to you uh, being the, 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 the gentleman that you are. Of course, you mentioned young people who are back at home. Mm. There's high rates of unemployment, and there's somebody who's watching back at home, and they're feeling like, now, where should I go to? Nilisoma kos flani, sipati yo job, nime drop my CVs kwa makampuni. Na hana adi pesa ya kuanzisha yo business online. And like you said, I love the way you mentioned it, mm. the power of a cell phone, using your mobile phone yeah. to earn money, especially yeah. in this digital generation. Mm. What is your word to them? So my word to those, uh, maybe the youths or someone who is, because in the business we even have all people who are doing online shoes and we also have the young generation there. So for someone who wants to start and have an idea, go for it and be consistent about it. Okay. Yeah. Don't give up. If Don't you have an up. idea, put uh -huh. it into practice. Put it into practice. Yeah, and be consistent about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and have trust, have faith. Things will get into place. 
Good, yeah. good, good, right. Yeah. Um, you own the company. Uh, you said it's Flick Mod. A Flick yeah. Model or Flick Mod? Flick Mod. Flick Mod Collections. Yeah. Uh -huh. Is it a modeling agency or a clothing line store now that you're also affiliated with selling shoes online? Mm. It's just, maybe I can say it's um, majorly we deal, I deal with shoes. Yeah? Oh, plainly shoes. Plainly uh -huh. shoes, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Both gents and uh, yeah, ladies? Yeah, and ladies, yeah. So okay. when you get to it, you get to understand it more, yeah? For me, I'm working, I'm, I'm working from Monday to Friday, yeah? Okay. Eight to five. That's a job that yeah, you have at the my, office. Yeah, uh -huh. the office, yeah. Okay. So I'm also operating Flick mode, yeah? Uh -huh. So what... But what, this is on your mobile phone. Yeah, yeah on my mobile phone. Mm. But maybe you have a client in town eh, okay. who wants a, a shoe. delivery. And mm -hmm. you are in the office okay. or in the lab. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So I have my delivery guy. Oh, you have a delivery guy. Yeah, who does That means you've given me. somebody an opportunity. Yeah, an, an opportunity. So you have yes. a job. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm happy because I've created an opportunity for that guy. Oh, right. Yeah, and Is what he your friend, a family, relative? Just a friend. A close friend. Yeah, in town we have many delivery guys. Yeah? Okay. But wow. so okay. I have, I have, I can say I have two uh -huh. who I mostly depend on. When I get, I get a client, I call, he delivers. Mm -hmm. And that's good. And what, what is making me more happy, yeah? I've uh -huh. seen those delivery guys, yeah? uh -huh. they are starting their own shops right now. Like from the business you've got from, them? Yeah. From yeah, that from, job or opportunity you gave them? Yeah, exactly. Is it because of the money you pay them? Not about the networks. Not, not, yeah, ne the networks, <laughs> networks exactly, okay. yeah. Uh -huh. So they get to know the sources. They're also saving. I can also urge the youths to save. Okay, saving. Yeah, however, I mean, even, even want, on our yeah. guest who has exited, we talked about the saving culture. Yeah, and yeah. the celebrities who actually, they, when they had their jobs, they had a lot of money. Yeah, but exactly. there was that pressure to actually maintain a certain image. Exactly. And now when you're out of the scene, yeah. you're falling into financial crisis. So from your experience, even as an entrepreneur, and I love the fact that you're pointing out what are some of the skills from you that you also learned to start the business? Because I believe you served, yeah. or somebody gave you startup cash. I served. You served, right? Yeah, yeah. So if somebody watching back at home, they want to start a business, and they don't have the money, but they're getting some two, three, five coins here and there, yeah. how do they start serving to a point they open up a business? Like going with online, yeah? I think with uh -huh. online, you really need uh, very little savings with online. Okay. Yes, because with the online, we have um, shoes, I, th I guess for shoes, they have categories. Yeah? We have the high quality, medium, and low quality. Yeah? Okay. And of course, that goes with the prices. So with the low quality, even with 500, you can have a shoe. Mm -hmm. You can sell it at 1,000 and earn a profit of 500. Mm -hmm. Then with that, you can keep saving. Because mm -hmm. um, I don't think getting a 500 to go to a supplier to get a shoe, yeah? Okay. Can be a, a large problem. Be something which is manageable. Yeah. Right, right. Then right. with that, you keep saving, you keep saving. Because you also have shoes which go for, let's say in a wholesale, they go for 5,000 wholesale mm -hmm. price. Yeah, that's wholesale. Is that's, that that's one shoe? Is that one pair of shoes yeah, or one, a couple? One pair of shoe. And going. this could be maybe a Jordan, a Nike, yeah, or Nike, all those Adidas billionaire boots. Yeah. yeah, yeah, going for 5,000. Okay. So that one can be a bit a challenge. So you, you start down there. Down there. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So for you, you started with second hand? Because uh, I believe getting to a place where you're importing, you mm -hmm. know, bundles of bells that have, uh, let's say, fresh clothes from the factory or from mm -hmm. Dubai. Uh, did you start with fresh mm -hmm. or second hand? Uh, I started with, uh, with fresh new ones. Fresh yeah? new ones. Yeah, but directly from the company. Yeah, directly from the company. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So at, at the moment, I'm still doing retail, yeah? Uh -huh. Retail is, I, go, I, get, I get it from my distributor uh -huh. and sell in Lite. Uh -huh. So my long-term plans, which I'm planning maybe next year okay. to venture in the business of now importing, importing. and do a wholesale. Yeah. And speaking of importing, mm. uh, there's the issue of licensing that comes mm. with you know, having a solid import-export business. Uh, from a personal perspective and experience, how can someone go about that? Because, you know, there's KRA in there, mm. there's startup cash, there's security. It's a whole budget away from the business itself. Yeah, yeah. And you have to monthly pay those, uh, what do they call, those it's monthly uh, payments that come with the KRA and yeah. even the government yeah. that deduct. Yeah. Uh -huh. So with, um, for a startup, yeah? 
Uh -huh. When you venture in the business, you get to know those people. Yeah, among those people, you can't fail to get one person who, who is willing to help you. Okay. So for me, I've gotten uh, someone who has introduced me maybe to the, um, to the importing world. Okay. So I can still import through him eh? okay. as I learn. Because I've not started the business of importing and doing wholesale. Mm -hmm. so, so you're getting from somebody first? Yeah, yeah. You use it. But, yeah, but he has already told me if I want to import, yeah, okay. can import through him. Eh? So talks are in yeah. place. To yeah, yeah, talks are in place. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Mm. Now, uh, let's come back to your competition. Mm. Every business has a competition. Yeah. Even this job itself has yeah. another competitor out there. Mm. How do you handle competition? And may maybe if you have, maybe if you have or you don't have, mm. uh, how, do you, how do you like ensure that you're balancing the curve? Because there's usually at some point where some businesses are quite high yeah. and they have a massive uh, audience or they have massive clients and yours is just operating down below. Yeah. How do you equalize that curve to stay stable? Okay, so when you talk about competition uh, in online, I usually say online is the future. Okay. Yeah, and competition is very high, mm -hmm. especially in online. From the likes, the comments, the yeah, shares. And yeah, the yeah, and yeah. also many people nowadays, eh, they have learned online Online is, is a good source of business. Okay. And in the shoe business, we have, we have a lot of people who are doing it online right now. Okay. So how you go again is that competition for myself, eh? is to understand your customers, what they want, understand what's new, what's new in the market. Because for fashion, it keeps changing. Okay. But we have classic shoes, eh? uh -huh. like the Air Force One, the Converse uh -huh. All-Stars. The Converse. Yeah, those the are Nike, like those the one you have, the ones you got, huh? Uh, th these are Jordans. Oh, these are Jordans. Yeah, nine. Okay. Yeah, so mm. for competition, you, you understand your clients. Understanding a client. Uh -huh. Yeah, know, know what's new in the market or what they want. Uh -huh. And understand mm -hmm. your client, know what is new in the market, and timely, timely deliveries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when someone uh, needs something eh, and you don't deliver in time, eh, they uh -huh. lose trust in you. Speaking of delivery, uh, um, We've seen stories, uh, it, it has always happened, I don't know why it keeps on happening to these tycoons, mm -hmm. where somebody entrusted somebody with a product worth millions of cash, they gave them to deliver, but the delivery guy, Lepitia Mali, Akafanya 1, 2, 3, Sijui, 10 million is a kapotea, and then Wakarud back to claim on social media. Mm -hmm. When it comes to trusting mm -hmm. a deliveries guy, how do you determine that this guy, even if it's a relative, yeah, it, hap exactly. it has happened in fact to people who are closer mm. or closest to you. Yeah. How do you determine that I'm going to trust this guy? And if at all mm. it's a contract, should you terminate it when they veer off it? Okay, we, it's, it's, a, it's one of the main challenge on the online business. Eh? But it's all based on trust. We, we only hope for the best. Yeah, so. so it's not a sure bet? <laughs> You know, with, with time, eh, it becomes a sure bet with time. Maybe when you have someone, people have used him, you have seen comments on people uh -huh. about that guy is a good delivery guy. Mm -hmm. And for you also, when you're starting, eh, you can yeah. measure him mm -hmm. or her. Yeah, maybe, from the experience and yeah, from the experience of interaction, yeah. Okay. So if you see things are not going well, you just do away with him or her okay. as early as possible. Because now okay. it's, it's also your business and you are, you are risking it. True. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to, let's say when it comes to numbers, like you said, online is very competitive. Yeah. And you've mentioned you boosted your page. How many followers do you got right now for your page? Is it the flick mode collection or? Uh, yeah, the flick mode, uh, around two, two, 3,000. Around 3,000. Yeah. This is on Facebook or on Twitter or in Instagram. IG. You said it's more of Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, that's okay. IG. Uh, f Facebook's about 1,500. Okay. Yeah. So if somebody wants to get a shoe from you, mm. and you said you del you're delivering this to both ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Yeah. ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> to both ladies and gents, yeah. if they want to get a shoe from you, how do they go about with that? So we have um, two, I can see two types of customers. There's okay. the one who will pay for you to deliver. Uh -huh. he, he pay she you to deliver. He uh -huh. or she has a trust in you. Okay. Maybe this must be very loyal. Loyal and maybe that's on your yeah. friends, who, people who know you, your family. Yeah. Yeah, but on, when we boost, we also get people 
who doesn't know hers. Eh? Uh -huh. For those one, most of them insist eh? you deliver, they pay. Uh -huh. So uh, for such people in online, uh -huh. maybe it's within the CBD or the outskirts of the CBD, uh -huh. but for places like Mombasa, Kisumu, because you said you can't, you stay in uh, Mako, you come from Makweni. Yeah, that's my homestead. That's your homestead. Like for your now, I'm living home. in Kiambu. Right now, you say yeah. Kiambu. So your business operates. You operate from Kiambu. Yeah, from but Kiambu. But you do yeah. CBD and out of town deliveries. Yeah, out of town. Now, I've also, I've, I've even sold to Nigeria several. Nigerians. Huh? Yeah, I've also sold. Like somebody from Nigeria DM'd you. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Shoe, Send them. Yeah, I have many, many actually Nigerian many clients. more than six clients in Nigeria. Wow, amazing. I usually deliver yeah. through DHL. Or DHL, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. And speaking of DHL, because yeah. uh, it's it's one of like the main um, cargo cargo yeah. delivery uh, yeah. companies. Uh, it charges. It, there's an amount you have to pay, and it there's charges, a place you have yeah. to sign to actually mm. work with them. Yeah. How did you partner with them to get to that point? Okay, for for them, there's no partnership. You just take your parcel there. Uh -huh. They weigh. They operate in terms of kgs. Okay. Yeah. Let's say for a pair of uh, Air Force One. Uh -huh. It weighs about 1.5 kg, okay. 1.5. So there's a... That's Air Force One. Yeah, let's say you're parceling to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Say there's a certain amount. So for a, a, to Nigeria to parcel one pair of Air Force One, it weighs about one, mm -hmm. 1.5. Eh? Uh -huh. It's about 2,000. 2,000 yeah, Kenyan shillings. Only. Yeah, only. Which is yeah. not a, uh, like a huge uh, amount of money anyways. But yeah, it's yeah. huge. Um, it's a it's huge, huge amount yeah, of yeah, money. Yeah, but they are a bit cheaper because... Let's see, I also pass it to USA uh -huh. through them. You had a client from the States. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. And wow. it only costs 5000 uh -huh. to to pass it to US. Via DHL. Yeah, yeah via DHL, yeah. Interesting. And they are really trusted. They are good mm -hmm. delivery guys. Yeah. All right. Mm. Uh, uh, as we, we are almost nearing towards the end, I want you to tell or speak to somebody back at home because your main, your main, the reason why you're here is you want to share your journey yeah. and your experience on how you ventured into that business yeah. and you're using your mobile phone. Yeah. Just talk to somebody back at home, your clients, uh, your friends, uh, somebody who is aspiring to start a business online. Tell them about the power of using your mobile cell phone to start and manage a successful business from your experience. Okay, f let, let, let me start with for those people who are, are in, unemployed and you have your phone, you have a laptop there, you have a business idea, you can go with it through online. As I usually say, online is the future and self-employment is always the best. And f if you have a, your professional job and you also want to venture in business, it's better, it's better to... And if you have an idea, go for it, be confident, have consistency, trust and faith. And to my clients, thank you for always supporting me. I assure you I'll still keep giving best services to you, best quality shoes. And to my family, friends, thanks for their support. I appreciate much. All right. Yeah. Uh, speaking of support and appreciation, yeah. uh, who are like your main supporters when you started this business? And of course, every every business needs support before we yeah. wind up. Yeah. Who are like some of the people who supported you massively that you'd say I owe it to them, despite the fact that you know I started off as mm. a lab technician. Yeah. I started I studied uh, industrial chemistry. Yeah. There are people that you'd say who you alini support Hadi Nikoapa. Yeah. So um, I'll start with Frank. Yeah? Uh -huh. Frank is my friend. Okay. He also owns uh, an online business called Jum Ke, where he okay. sells shoes. Frank is the one who introduced me to, to online shoe selling. Okay. Yeah, I also have another guy, the one I was selling you is, is importing. He's one of my suppliers. Uh -huh. He's called David. David has a shop in town and he has even given me part of his shop to wow. be a pick point in mm -hmm. town for wow. my clients. And amazing. So uh -huh. thank you very much for the support. Okay. Yeah. If somebody wants to access you, where can they get you? Okay. Uh, Instagram, Flick Mold Collections. Facebook, search my page, Flick Mold Collections. And also I have my business number where you can text through WhatsApp. 0716-455-2000. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much um, 
for, uh, for sharing your business insights. And uh, we are almost coming to a close uh, of the show. Thank you so much, Benson, um, for, uh, for uh, coming through.